Good morning everyone, today we are going to be reviewing the Moondrop shoes, mainly in a gaming perspective for Valorant specifically, because that is pretty much the only FPS game that I actually play that I use earbuds or headphones or just anything to actually hear sound. All the other games I just use regular speakers, and so um, yeah, let's jump right into it. So this is the box that comes in, and as we can see here at the very back, there is the frequency graph. Um, it doesn't mean anything to me because I'm not an audiophile, I simply just buy earbuds. I'm used to using simple stuff like the AirPods Pro, as well as just like the regular Apple earbuds and stuff like that. However, I only use those earbuds while I'm like commuting to work or in the office or whatever. Normally when I'm playing video games, I tend to use headphones. Now these are the GSP 300s. I bought this like four years ago and they work perfectly fine. They're a really good headset. But what I didn't like was the little band over here because well, you know, as you can see, my hair gets messed up really, really easily. So every time I finish the gaming session, I would have the headphone hair and my ears will get really fatigued so I decided to look into IEMs or in-ear monitors. So this is where the moon drop shoes come into play. Um, these were really really inexpensive. They were 99 RMB so that is basically 20 bucks or like 19.99 or something along those lines. So very inexpensive IEM and in Valorant it is amazing. Now if we look at the frequency graph if people actually understand it I don't understand it so it doesn't matter to me but the TLDR is there's not a lot of bass. So when you're playing Valorant, the more bass you have, the more thump you get when you fire weapons such as the Operator or the Vandal, you know, that boom, 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 boom. If you have a lot of bass, you really feel the power of that gun and like the vibration and stuff, and it kind of rattles your head. But it might not be very good for competitive gameplay because whenever you're shooting that weapon, your head is rattling and you can't hear anything else. So the Moondrop Truths are actually really good in the sense that there is not a lot of bass. So when you're shooting your Vandal, you can still hear your footsteps and still pinpoint where the enemies are while you're in the middle of a gunfight or a trade which is extremely, extremely useful. Now, another thing I really like about the Moondrop shoes are the ear tips. So if we look over here, these are the Moondrop spring tips. They're kind of like a very thin layer of silicone. So you can look over here, it's very, very thin. And because it's so thin and soft, it's actually really, really comfortable when I place it in my ear. And on top of that, it doesn't go very deep into my ear canal, and it still does a really nice seal. So you're still able to feel that base. But if you want less base, then just don't put a good seal and then it'll be perfectly fine. So overall, for under $20, I feel like the Moondrop shoes are an amazing pair of IEMs to pick up. However, let us talk about the downsides. So the first most important downside Side is this cable. This cable is pretty garbage. However, it gets the job done to be honest. And if I'm using it in front of a PC, it's not a big deal because I'm not moving around that much. Another thing is the ear hooks over here. I had to install the ear hooks because this cable is very, very flimsy and there is only one way to wear this IEM. Usually I like to wear my IEMs like this. So there's a cable dangling down normally. Unfortunately, with these, you do have to wear them like regular IEMs, I guess, or more expensive higher end IEMs where you have to do the over the ear thing. So you have to pop it in your ear like this and then flip this cable over. So you're wearing it like this. So unfortunately, because this cable is so flimsy, I had to install these ear hooks. Now they do give you the ear hooks for free. It's included in the packaging. So it's very, very nice. You know, it's considerate that they did that because it definitely is a necessity for me personally. Now, I know some people don't like the ear hooks and they just like to use the cable by itself. And over time, I'm pretty sure the cable will like learn to just wrap around your ear normally. To, it'll like get bent that way permanently or something. I don't know. But um, for now, I use the ear hooks because it's just easier and it actually stays in place. Without the ear hooks, the cable just flips over my ear and just like flops all over the place. And um, the issue is if I wear the earbuds the other way around, well, my up and down sounds are going to be really screwed up. Well, you know, they're going to be inverted. So the soundstage for these IEMs are really small. Everything's going to sound pretty close to you. Even if they are pretty far away, let's say like you're on B site and you hear someone at mid, it's still going to sound really dang loud and it might throw you off for the first week or so because you're just going to be like, wait a second, is that guy like right next to me or what? So you just have to kind of get used to the IEM or it's like sound stage because unfortunately the sound stage is extremely small, which may give you that kind of claustrophobic feeling where you're kind of like super paranoid because everything sounds like it's right next to you. So that is a downside for these IEMs. 
However, for a game like Valorant, I don't think it's too bad because you get used to it. You kind of realize like, okay, if it's like this loud, it's right next to you. But if it's like this volume, then it's a little bit further away from you. And another technique that I've been using to pinpoint enemies is just memorizing how the map is and the map layout. Because when people run on sand and run on metal and run on different terrain, it sounds different. So for example, in Breeze, when an enemy is running down mid, you're going to hear that kind of sandy texture. It's not going to sound like metal or like wood or anything. So I register in my brain, oh, I'm hearing sand. Okay, so that's mid. But if I hear metal, like clang, 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 I'm like, okay, they're probably left. a main, which is like the little platform on the top. And you just kind of use the different audio cues to kind of register where the enemy is. So unfortunately, it's not going to be as amazing as like a nice set of open back headphones where you immediately pinpoint where the enemy is just by hearing. So uh, it does take a little bit of getting used to, but come on, it's like $20 for these. So I still think it's a great deal. But as for hearing enemies above, above you or below you, this is where it's kind of iffy for me. Um, certain maps like Icebox, when I'm running around in mid and I hear people above me, usually I die there because uh, for me personally, I'm, I just haven't had enough time to get used to the sound signature yet, I guess. But uh, I have a very difficult time hearing enemies that are above me or below me because they literally sound like they're right next to me all the time. And so usually I freak out and then I, I get killed. So that is another downside for the Chews. But overall, I think they're a great set of earbuds and they sound good. They sound really, really good for Valorant as well as just music listening in general. I did use these for other games, like more immersive games, such as like Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, as well as Genshin Impact and stuff like that. I don't really recommend these for Genshin Impact, unfortunately. Something about the high end of these just kind of feels off. I do recommend them for competitive games and just casual music listening for sure, um, but not so much for immersive games. I don't feel like this allows you to be fully immersed into the game. It could be a soundstage thing, or I, I have a feeling it's something to do with the high frequency noises. I just, I don't know, it just distracts me or something. So that's just something you need to keep in mind. So in conclusion, I highly recommend picking up the Moondrop shoes, mainly because, well, the ear tips are amazing and like the ear tips itself cost like $13 and they're including all the ear tips in the package. So that's a really big plus. They sound really, really good. The base is not super crazy strong, which is great for Valorant especially. And the design of these IEMs are super small, super light, and they're really, really comfortable. Yeah, I can wear these for several hours without any problem, which is quite a big deal because normally when I wear headphones or IEMs, I get that kind of pressure feeling and that fatigue in your ear and you have to like take out the IEM every so often. Um, these don't really give me that fatigue because maybe it's like how small they are or the design. It just fits in my ear and I can wear them for hours on end and uh, continue to play Valorant. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys found it helpful. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys next week. Bye. What can I say except you're welcome for the heat?